this week I decided to change things up a little bit. I've been a little bit off track with training the past few weeks just between finals, graduation, and now this past week with the surgery which had a, a few complications so it's everything's taking a little bit longer to heal so they want me to avoid I guess a lot of that blood pressure to my head but now I feel like I'm at the stage where I can start to transition back in so today's gonna be a bench session but I wanted to change for probably a month or two from shake out to a uh, peaking program mostly just due to the fact that I haven't peaked in pretty much every year now it'd be nice to see where I'm at regardless of if I'm going to be competing this summer or not because that's very uh, dependent on whether I make it into one of these two um, police academies or postgraduate programs. So today we'll be, uh, I guess, just bench, starting in the high rep ranges, like set to 10. And the thing that I like about this particular peaking program is that there are only two or three top sets each week. So I have a lot of um, freedom to use variations, which I really need to start hammering down. I feel like I haven't been working on tricep strength as much as I should have, as well as my overhead press. Same thing goes with uh, my deadlifts. Squats have always been all right. There's not really much I can do for them other than maybe just pause squats, but um, yeah, I need to work on my lockout strength too, and I feel like peaking right now is going to help allow me to facilitate those needs a little bit better than just the high volume, high frequency training that uh, Shaco was allowing me to do. So, I guess I'll see you guys in there. So I figured I'd give you guys a pretty quick commentary. Um, for my warm-up sets, I've been starting to do it with my feet up. You might have seen Dan Green uh, do something like this. It's mostly just to keep leg drive out of the movement so you actually warm up a little bit more of your chest during the warm-ups. So you're more focused on that than using leg drive. Um, what I like about this speaking program in particular, like I just said, is that there's only a few top sets. And this allows me to get more variation in. And I think this is one of the biggest reasons why training gets stagnant in the off season. For instance, the further you are out from a meet, the more variation you're going to want in your programming, which is something that I sort of gotten a little bit away from with my like, uh, at some points I was doing like 10 sets of 10 with just the normal variation of the lift and I wasn't getting much stronger, maybe like five pounds here or there every now and then. But I haven't had the chance to work on any uh, weak points. Um, and I feel like that's been hindering my training a lot. So I've started to incorporate um, more sets actually with variations in my regular, making sure I get my regular variations in still. Um, there's actually a great article on it with um, Matt Wenning in the new um, article, in uh, or the new edition, sorry, of Power Magazine. So I recommend you guys pick that up. But yeah, just trying to hammer away those weak points and hopefully once the volume goes down a little bit toward the end of this program, I'll be able to hit PRs and all lifts, but you guys will be along with me every step of the way until then.